Welcome to Electro Online. Here we have another very interesting contraption. We have a vertical shaft that's rotating. The bottom of the shaft is submerged in a liquid. You can see that on both sides of the shaft there are some brakes that can push against the shaft and slow the shaft down. We have another arm extension right here on which we suspend two separate masses with mass M and they're connected to a string. We can pull up on the string and while the shaft is rotating, which means the mass is rotating as well at the rotation velocity omega, then we pull on the string and we pull the two blocks from a distance r to a distance r divided by three. Now of course that is work done by pulling up the string, but we apply the brakes to keep the shaft from increasing in angular velocity. So we maintain the same angle of velocity, thus removing energy out of the system. If that energy is used to heat up the brakes and the liquid in the container, what will be the increase in the temperature? In other words, knowing that the brakes have mass 2m and the specific heat C, and the liquid has mass 4m and specific heat 2C, find the increase in the temperature in both the brakes and the liquid. All right, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we can assume that the work done by the brakes, the work done by the brakes, is equal to the difference in the kinetic energy, which means kinetic energy initial minus kinetic energy final. And of course, kinetic energy can be defined as one half I omega squared. And of course, I, the moment of inertia, is caused by those two rotating masses. Which means that the work done by the brakes is equal to kinetic energy initial, which is one half, the moment of inertia of the two masses, that would be 2m times the distance r squared, times omega squared, minus the kinetic energy final, which is one half, 2m times now the radius is reduced to a third of its original value r over 3 quantity squared times omega squared so that is the difference in the kinetic energy of the two rotating masses which is the work done by the brakes equal to the work done by the brakes all right so we have um, well let's simplify that we have one half and two that cancels out so we have the work done by the brakes is equal to m r squared omega squared minus that would be one ninth m r squared omega squared but in other words the work done by the brakes which is difference in kinetic energy would be eight ninths m r squared omega squared so now we have the amount of work done by the brakes which equals the heat added to the brakes and to the liquid so then we use the equation that Q, the heat added, is equal to mc delta t. That's, the, that's, of course, the general equation. But here, of course, we have two things that are heating up, both the brakes and the water. They have different masses and different specific heats. So we could say that the delta t is equal to Q divided by m times c. But, of course, we have to have this for both the liquid and the m times c of the brakes and the Q is the same as the work done by the brakes and now I think we have an equation to come up with the change in the temperature so the change in the temperature is equal to Q which is 8 ninths m r squared omega squared divided by the mass and the specific heat of the liquid the mass of the liquid is uh, let's see 4 m and the specific heat is equal to 2C plus the mass of the brakes, which is 2M, and the specific heat is C. Like that. Okay, so delta T is equal to 8 ninths M R squared omega squared divided by 8 plus 10, uh, place 8 plus 2, which is 10 MC. Now the M's cancel out, 8 divided by 10, or I could say 80 over 90, so this would be equal to 8, 8 over 90 
r squared omega squared over c. And of course, we could divide both of those by 2. That gives 4 over 45. So delta t, the change in temperature, is equal to 4 divided by 45 r squared omega squared divided by c, the specific heat. And that would then be the change in the temperature. And of course, until they give us actual values to plug in, we'll just have to leave it as such in terms of r, the radius, the omega, the angle of velocity, and the specific heat. And that is how it's done.